Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Huck. Happy New Year. Today I am doing a currently reading video, so just coming on to update you about what I've been reading, what I'm currently reading, what's my first book of 2021. Uh, so let's just get started. As always, we'll start with the book that I most recently finished, which is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba Tahir. Uh, this is the final book in the An Ember in the Ashes series, which just came out in December of 2020, and I listened to the audiobook. Um, so this is a YA fantasy series that is following three main characters. I think the first book starts with two main perspectives and then the books after that have a third perspective in there. It's set in a world that is very militaristic and is Roman inspired um, and there are struggles between a few different peoples within this world but then also the magical djinn of the world as well. I read this entire series in 2020 and I really enjoyed it. I am going to be talking about it more in my wrap-up and some other videos, some of my like end of the year wrap up videos as well. Um, but I really enjoyed this whole series and I'm really glad that I got to read all of it in one year. I started it at the right time. I got to start and finish the whole series in one year. Now onto my current read, which is my first book of 2021. We have The Invisible Life of Annie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. I just recently hauled this. Uh, this is historical fiction, historical fantasy-ish. It's been all over booktube. Uh, but in this we are following our main character Addie LaRue. She starts in the 1700s um, and in a moment of desperation makes a Faustian deal with the god who answers after dark uh, for her freedom, which part of the catch of that deal is one, she can live forever, and two, everyone forgets her. So as once she is out of someone's sight, they immediately forget her, and so she is living this very lonely, immortal existence. And we are following her throughout different periods of her life, uh, starting in the 1700s, and the most modern setting is in 2014. Um, so she's been alive for hundreds of years, and then finally encounters somebody who actually does remember her. Um, and this one I decided to start with just because I was in the mood for it. Also, this is an author that in general I enjoy. Um, her books are not always favorites, but I feel like they're usually a pretty safe bet because even if they're not favorite books, like I have fun with them. I find her writing style very easy to read, uh, so I thought this would be a good way to start. So far I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. I am about um, 150 pages into it, and this is like a 450 page book, so it's like a good chunk of the way in. And I'm not sure if I'm really liking it, uh, so this may not have been as safe a bet as I thought it was for a first book of the year. Um, but I think that I've been having a hard time feeling really engaged with the character Addie LaRue and also feeling engaged with the story. And I think, you know, a lot of that is because since no one can really remember her, she's sort of just by herself all the time. And I just, I don't necessarily find her as an individual to be a particularly interesting character. And so since she's spending so much time alone, you know, understandably, like, due to the nature of her curse, I just am not that engaged with it. But I have just reached the point at which she has met the person who remembers her. And so I'm hoping that from this point on it may become more interesting because she will have at least one person that she can consistently like engage with and their interactions hopefully will be interesting. Um, so yeah, I, I just have been having a hard time feeling like invested in it, but I'm hoping that I'm going to get more invested in it now that this other character has been introduced and they've met. Um, but as always, I find it pretty easy to read. I read 150 pages yesterday and I think I'll be able to finish this one pretty quickly um, because her writing style is always very easy to read. So in that way, like it's an easy first book of the year. Then I also am currently reading Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb. This is the third book in the Tawny Man trilogy. I was hoping to finish this in 2020, but that obviously didn't happen. I think I just started it too late in the year. I had every intention of reading this earlier and not having this happen. Um, but, you know, the best laid plans. Um, so I'm still reading this one. 
I'm not too far into it. I'm about 180 pages in, but this is like an 800 page book, so that's not like a huge amount into the story. I am enjoying it, but I feel like maybe I wasn't quite in the mood for it because I, even after I started it, I kind of kept putting it off and that's why I decided to read something else as my fir first book of the year, even though I had already started this. So I do want to finish this in January and, and I am going to be, you know, coming back to it after I finish Addie LaRue. Um, but yeah, so this is my other kind of currently reading. Then I don't have any audiobooks that I'm currently reading, but I have two that I am looking at to start very soon, which are both ones I have talked about recently, or I talked about towards the end of 2020, and I meant also to read last year, but I'm hoping to finish this year in January now. So the first one is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. I started this in 2020, I got 100 pages in, and just like wasn't really interested in it. But I've heard that if you get to 100, 150 pages, like after that point, it gets more interesting. But I do think I'm going to try this as an audiobook because uh, I just feel like that might kind of help me move along a little faster and get to the point where I will start enjoying the story more. So I do want to start and hopefully finish the audiobook for this one soon. And then I also want to listen to A Lots Away by Darcy Litter Little Badger. I got this towards the end of last year and I am very excited for it. I listened to like the first chapter or something and I was enjoying the first chapter but then for some reason I got distracted and just started reading something else. Uh, so I definitely want to get to this because I've heard really good things about it and it just sounds like it's going to be really interesting. This is a YA fantasy um, about a girl who can raise the ghosts of animals and her cousin dies and then so she decides that she's going to be the one to find out what happened to her cousin. And then the next book that I am planning to physically read after I finish the two physical reads that I am currently reading is Blanca Eroja by Anna Marie McLemore. This is a YA magical realism story that is a retelling of Snow White and Rose Red and also uh, I think a little bit of Swan Lake in there and I'm going to be buddy reading this with Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book so that will be fun to start the year with a buddy read. Alright so that is all for my currently reading update and what I am planning to read next. Let me know what are you starting your year with? What is your first book of the year? I usually try to either reread a book or pick something from an author I know I like so I can kind of start the year off on the right foot uh, but I don't know if that uh, if I made a good choice this year or not. We'll find out. Uh, but I'd love to know what you chose for your first book of the year and if you have like a system for choosing your first book or not. Uh, thank you all for watching and until next time, bye!